Yes, if you practice reality shifting with the methods or witchcraft, which the belief is a delusion, there's no such thing as parallel universes or you shift into marvels. If you practice all that, you just may be the next psychotic killer because psychosis and mental illness go hand in hand. When you hear voices and you see things that aren't there, those voices, just like schizophrenic people, those voices tell you to do harmful things to yourself or others. That's why when you go to the doctor for psychosis or hearing voices or paranoia, when you go, you are deemed unsafe to yourself and others around you. Especially if you tell the doctors you did some spiritual awakening on YouTube. And ever since you did that spiritual awakening, you have had intrusive thoughts. You've been hearing stuff, seeing things. You've been acting strange. Your moods have been up and down. You don't know what's going on. When you go to the doctor and tell them that, they're going to deem you unsafe. They're going to deem you unsafe. Because the doctors, because the so-called medical world, they know, they have known for a long time... That spirituality outside of Jesus Christ, spirituality leads to violence. It leads to violence in this host. This is well documented. I don't know why YouTube doesn't act like this is well documented. It's well documented by psychiatrists, psychology, psych wards that their that their patients have tried these spiritual awakenings, which led them to be crazy, have mania have schizophrenia, bipolar, whatever type of other manias there are, okay? Even the, even the patients of psych wards get on YouTube and make videos, and they tell us why they went to the psych ward, what happened, what they did to become, what they did to become psychotic, what they did to become deemed unsafe to their self and others, and how they got out. A lot of them, how they got out, they had to pretend to be sane so they can get out. But they're still experiencing demonic oppression, spiritual oppression. They're still hearing and seeing stuff that they haven't prayed to Jesus. They still have intrusive thoughts like the so-called reality shifters do. And intrusive thoughts would be thoughts of violence. It would be thoughts of violence. You don't always have to hear voices of violence. You can just have thoughts of violence. All right? So, yes, the link between... Reality shifting, psychosis, and violence in schools. There you go. This has been Awkward Occurrence, Awkward Entertainment, and I will see you in the next video. Spiritual awakening, dog. Nothing but the devil. Nothing but your destruction. Your path to the lake of fire. Thank you.